<laughs> now tell me, the no, 80s one. version of this film, uh, we had Vincent Price. And the 2011 version, we had Peter Vincent. So tell me, like, how did you like merge the two and kind of reinvent the character? I mean, you've got to give all that credit to Marty Knoxon, who you know, wrote the script. Okay. And uh, she did an amazing job with it. Mm -hmm. And the, the interesting thing with the new guy, Peter Vincent, played by David Tennant, is that he's this very successful Vegas magician. So you yes. would think he has, you know, the world at his feet, but uh, yeah. he's or at very, least Vegas. At least Vegas. Vegas, yeah. Vegas at his feet. <laughs> but he's he's got this self-loathing in his character that comes from like you know a backstory in his mm -hmm. character that really makes you empathize with uh, with him and root for him and he has this arc to go through which isn't dissimilar to the first except that he's coming from a, a real place of success yes and where, i like the part where he like starts taking off this this the mustache yes. and the hair yeah his whole the, life is a lie yeah it's like, like a facade. he's really yeah. like it's a whole other like you think he's this person but then he reveals himself to be something yeah. else so, very quickly <laughs> yeah and i loved it i thought it was yeah. so much truth and integrity in it cool yeah, yeah and Colin, I loved yeah. your character. Like you were like a sexy, funny, like vampire. Back kind in the good old days, yeah. I was. Wasn't I? Surprising, huh? Surprisingly, <laughs> like it stretch. was like different. Yeah, it's a stretch for you, I'm sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah. It was something different I'd never explored before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it was delighted to be part of it. It was a lot of fun. Now, did you see the the eighties version? I of did. It? I loved the eighties version. Okay. I loved it so much. I was very dubious that they were going to try and remake it. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then I read it and I loved it from start to finish. It was just a really, really um, exciting and really fast read. And I knew Craig was going to be part of it. And I'd seen his work on uh, Lars and the Real Girl, mm -hmm. and um, and loved his work. So it, was, it kind of became a no-brainer really fast. Jane, it's Jerry from next door. Don't, don't answer the door. This is my house, and I will answer the door if I want to. Uh, Mom. Jane, I need to talk to you. Uh, just, just hold on. Now, your son is harassing me. Charlie, what is going on? Listen, whatever he says, he's gonna try to say. Jane, he broke into my house. Is that true? Look, I'd rather not take this to the authorities, but I will. I have no choice. He's sick. He's deluded. Go get the authorities. Now, you you guys did such an interesting combination of combining like the comedy and the subtle humor of, you know, when you try to kill her, you're like, oh, I'll see you tomorrow, like that kind of thing. And I yeah, was yeah. so scared. And then I was like laughing at the same time. Like, I'm watching the motions. I'm like, what is going on? So now tell me with the, the stunts and the physicality, like you're in great shape. So how was it preparing for the physicality of this of this role? It was cool. I mean, there wasn't too much. There was uh, bits and pieces, a little bit of wire work. And uh, of course, I had to lift that car. I was going to say, you really did. Yeah, that was, like I was just doing, I did six much. months of deadlifts in the gym just to get my thighs. We stripped a lot of the stuff out yeah, of that car. Yeah, my thighs though. were 64 inches around when we shot. We had to CGI wow, shrink, them. Had to yeah. shrink them. Um, yeah. That was fun. It was a little bit of, you know, there was a little bit of action. He's a pretty physical character, Jerry, whether he's, mm -hmm. you know, involved in action. You know, just the way he hold, held himself. Hanging upside down there. Hanging upside down. All the, yeah, there was bits and pieces to do. Jumping out of ceiling tins. Yeah, bits and pieces, yeah. yeah I enjoyed it. it. Yeah, no, it was fun. It was, you know, anytime you get to be in your body work and it's it's good fun right I he's like a very that. physical vampire he wasn't you know he didn't say so much yeah you know? he was like eerie but sexy yeah. and and funny and all of those things women love eerie sexy. It's, yes, it's yes. funny that eerie is sexy yeah i know it that's a new one like it's like a mysterious kind of thing that goes on <laughs> so now that's cool. tell me about um i've talked to a lot of the other actors and they said that you gave them a, a really great opportunity to improv so what was your decision and saying, hey, you guys go for it? What was your decision you know, on that? I mean, there was definitely, you know, Marty had a great script. And, there's, mm -hmm. you know, obviously you got to stay true to the story and making mm -hmm. sure we're hitting all the, all the plot points. But then the humor, I always wanted to make sure we'd have that in our arsenal in terms of where to let that play. So you'd mm -hmm. let, you know, everybody was great at staying in character and using lines that are funny mm -hmm. that are still staying on track with what's going on and coming from a real place. And I think that's when it worked well. And uh, we, all of us, and, and the same with, you know, people reacting to it as well. Yeah. You know. Because yeah, and the 3D, like, put a whole extra little umph on top of it. Because I was, like, I, like trying not to watch, but wanting to watch at the same time. Now, I got to know, is there going to be, like, a fight night, too? Because I didn't know that... That they I, were together. I have no idea. I think we should get through Friday Night One first. It's I like... think it'll, it'll be easy. It'll be easy. I'm going to tell all my friends. I'm going to Twitter about it. But thank you, cool. you guys. Thank so you. Much. Thank you. Thanks so much. Pleasure Very meeting nice you guys. Your thank brothers. You.